let's look at how to sort an array of structs. First of all, I'm going to want to include another library here. So I'll include algorithm. Next, I'm going to create my struct that I'm going to be sorting. So I will just call a simple struct, say item. And my item has, a, let's say, an int number. And we'll have a string name. All right, now that I have a basic struct, I am going to look at how to create my struct. So I'm going to go ahead and make a struct of five items to make it pretty simple. So const int size equals five. And I'm going to have an item array of size five. All right, now that I have this array, I'm going to go ahead and populate it so we can see something in it. So I'll do array, let's say zero equals, and let's say we're going to have a dot number equal to, let's say three. And we want a dot name equal to, let's do letter E. And then we can have a bunch of them so we can have unsorted and sorted. So I'll copy that and make uh, five copies. And let's go three, four, five, one, two. Let's number over here. One, two, three, four. And let's go, say reverse alphabetical. D, C, B, A. All right. So now we have an array with nothing sorted. It's kind of sorted, but not really. All right. Next, I want to display the array. So I will print it out. So a C out. And I want to say this is my unsorted array. And just have a new line right here. And then I'll do a for loop for uh, in i equals zero i is less than size so i can look at all of them i plus plus and then i'll just print out the array number and name so array i dot number and a blank space and we're gonna print out array I dot name. So we should see the number and the name. And then let's have a new line at the end. And now we want to have a, let's see, a blank new line just so we can separate things. All right. So let's go ahead and print this out just so we can see it before we sort it. So I run this. And we see it prints out 3E, 4D, 5C, 1B, and 2A. So nothing is sorted, all unsorted data. There we go. All right, now we want to sort it. So what we can do is we can use the sort part of the standard library. And let's go ahead and copy this same code right here. And we're going to do sorted instead of unsorted. And we'll do sorted array by, and let's do it first by number. Now, in order to do it by number, we need to have some kind of a sort that will sort it by number. So how do we do that? Well, first we need some way to compare them. And so in order to do that, we need a Boolean function up here. And we'll do a sort by number and what I wanted to receive is two different references to arrays so I'll do item uh, ampersand a and we'll do item ampersand B so we have two of them and what we want to do is we want to return whether or not the well we're going to return 
whether the a dot number is less than the b dot number and so this is either a true or false so what this means is that item a comes before item b would be true and if item b comes before item a then it would be false and that way you can see how to order it order it if you wanted it to be um, this right here we'll uh, do it in ascending order if you want to do it in descending order you just change the sign right here so it's greater than instead of less than all right we also want to go ahead and create our other one as well because we want to be able to sort by the name as well so I'll do bool sort by name and same thing item percent a and we'll item percent b and we want to this time return a dot name is less than b dot name so we got the sort by number and sort by name so these are our two comparison or comparators we're going to be using in our sort function so now we're down here and we're going to go ahead and use the standard library sort and this one is a little tricky to use because you need to know how to do this whole sort thing you're going to be passing in the address of the first element that you're sorting so array zero and then you want to pass in the address of the address after so like the address right after the last element so if you think about it um, array zero is our first one and array four is our last one but we want the address after that so we want to put in array five it's kind of weird but we'll do that so we'll do at array and because we're using size we'll just use size which is actually array five and then we're going to have this optional comparator and the comparison we're going to use is just the name of the function that we're using and so if you look up here remember it was sort by number so we'll just copy this right here sort by number and we will paste it right here and it knows how to use it because it just passes these things in there all right so that's going to be sorting by number and let's go ahead and at the same time we'll do another one and this one will be sort by name instead of number we'll change our comparison right here to sort by name and then let's go ahead and run it and see how it works so we'll run this all right so we'll make this a little bigger all right so when it's unsorted it has the same unsorted data when it's sort by number you can see it sorts it one two three four five when it sorts by name it does well a b c d e so the sort is working and you can see how it works so you can create the array you can print it out and then you use this sort right here where you pass it the first element and then the address after the last element so not the last element so I change this to four right here just so you can see what happens so I'm just doing up to the fourth one in both of these fourth then it will not sort all of them it'll sort most of them and you can see right here uh sorting my number is one three four five so these four are sorted in the correct order however the fifth one was not not used so it didn't even jump into the whole sorting thing so these first four are sorted but the fifth one's not in there and the same thing right here it's b c d e and then this fifth one's not there so you do want to have the address after after ball so five or size anyway this should help you if you want to sort arrays of structs or arrays of any type